Hey, on some real shit, this wraps up the, the taping of the fucking four stages of grief. We just did our last fucking video. Shout out to that nigga Coke, man. I'm treating that nigga to a burger next paycheck. We're going to go get one of the white people burger, the one where they motherfucking, they got the cow in the back type shit. Oh, man. shit, you got fucking cocaine on your back. Nigga, that's sweat, nigga. Oh. Oh, shit. You're probably from the fucking wall, my street time. You want to cut it open and see what's inside there? Maybe, you know, Fuentes put some shit in there. Probably can't be on camera, bro. <laughs> what's up, y'all? Welcome back to the lab, bro. First off, hell yeah, I got the same shirt on, nigga. Niggas do laundry, nigga. Niggas do laundry, nigga. What? What niggas put laundry in? I'm like, let me grab a shirt. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, I work at night, bro. I work at night. I be in the truck all night. I don't give a fuck what I got on. What? And I got Crocs on right now, nigga. Got Crocs on right now, nigga. What? Yeah, man. I don't know, bro. It's, it's kind of scary, man. Because shit, shit, shit is getting real, bro. I don't know, man. It's on some real shit because, as I could tell in the video clip before this, that niggas really, uh, niggas really, I was waiting so long, bro. We were trying to accomplish that video shit for months, bro. You know what I'm saying? And we finally did it. Shout out that nigga Cole, man. Once again, bro. Boy. Yeah, bro. It's just, I was waiting so long for that one piece to move to. Do other shit. And I was like, oh shit, all right. Now it's time to go do that, bro. This shit is getting scary, gang. And I had a conversation with my homie oh, Rob yesterday. Um, kind of, it fucked me up, bro. Not even in a bad way, you know what I'm saying? It kind of fucked me up in a good way. Just because I can see the contrast of where I was mentally beforehand. And I ain't like on some like, mental health shit, but just like, you know what I'm saying, mentality wise, to how I am right now, you know what I'm saying, like, if the conversation we had yesterday was to come up in, like, 2018, 2019, I would have been fucked up, you feel me, I'm like, I would have gotten my feelings, you know what I'm saying, do -do -do, you know what I'm saying, but now it was, like, oh, it, it was, literally, I just viewed it as perspective, you know what I'm saying, and insight, you know, because I know I'm a very smart, intuitive man, but it's like, wise niggas seek counsel, and I love that shit, especially because, I work all day, all night by myself, you know what I'm saying? And I have hella fire, I have a bunch of ideas, shit that I want to execute, and I'm going to execute, but it's like, all right, before I do this, I just want to get perspective on it, let me get feedback on it, shit like that, and it's getting scary, bro, and it's getting to the point where brothers, um, it's getting scary to the point where everything feels organic. It feels like, yeah, this is supposed to happen. This is, you know what I'm saying? Shit is falling into place naturally. And it's just scary with the mindset that niggas have now. It's like, oh shit. Like, I'm ready for it. Anything I can adapt to it, I can figure out how to do it. It's, it's scary, bro. I can feel like niggas are getting to the place where are you ready for all the shit that you really pray for? Nigga, are you really, are you ready for that? And if you would have asked me 2018, 2019, I would have been, I would have been pussyfooting, that's what we like to say. I would have been fucked up, but now, I'm at a sense here, yeah, I'm at a sense where it's almost scary how quick I can say, hell yeah, I'm ready for it. You know what I'm saying? And I figure out what, I finally figured out what changed that shift, what shifted that shift for me. It was the fact that I'm good without it, you know what I'm saying, I'm straight without it, that really, that flipped the mindset for me, like, oh, like, it'd be great to go to, go do shows, go do concerts, get the bread, get the, you know what I'm saying, but also, it's like, if that doesn't happen, I'm fine with just trying, you know what I'm saying, the only thing that really, really scares me now is not trying, because I got ideas, different platforms and shit niggas want to do, and it doesn't fail, it doesn't, scared me to, oh, what if I fail, what if I fail, it scares me to, damn, what if I don't do it, 
You know what I'm saying? That if you flip your mindset to that shit, my boy, it's different, nigga. It's different because you don't. I, I don't view nothing as an L anymore, bro. I keep saying it, but it's like everything's an opportunity, gang. Learn, I learn from it, figure it out, keep it moving. Don't, don't shit kill me, nigga. Respectively, like respect. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, bro, it's it's scary, bro. Where niggas are at mentally now, bro. It, it, I feel like niggas really ready for this shit, bro. It's some real shit, bro. To be completely, to keep it a thou about with you. And like I said, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm blessed with it. I'm blessed without it, and I'm blessed with it. You know what I'm saying? Because each and every day I'm getting better as a man, businessman. I'm becoming more understanding, more, I'm becoming more open and shit, you know what I'm saying, it's, life has become beautiful, bro, I told the, uh, I was talking about, I was talking about it with my nigga Colt the other day, like, hey, gang, once, once niggas actually killed that pride, that ego, and started to take accountability, bro, life is beautiful, nigga, because everything starts with you, like, imagine if somebody fuck up some shit, all right, what could I have done better on my part to, you feel me, you flip your shit like that, I'm not blaming nobody, ain't no hate, ain't no nothing, Niggas should have been had a deal. What could I have done better in this situation? You know what I'm saying? I should have been it. What could I have done better? What makes you... And you work on that, nigga? Fuck it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And with you, let's start with you, niggas. But, yeah, bro, I got like a little mini... Now we gonna vlog the week this week, bro. I just... I was at work and niggas had the camera. I'm like, man, let me say some shit, man. But, yeah, bro. It's okay to wear shit more than once a week, bro. Especially if you got a wash in that motherfucker clean, bro. Wear that shit. I wore this shit last video. Nigga, I, I put this shit on. I'm like, plus this motherfucker getting loose, nigga. My mama. Nigga's off for about two energy drinks right there. But hold on, nigga. Let me get to the actual lab. Hold on. What's up, niggas? Uh, so right now, I'm getting ready to send off a, uh, another feature I did for the homie. Shout out Nisha. Uh, yeah, man. She hit me up. It was like, hey. I got some shit for you. Then I'm like, bad nigga. She hit me up. Yeah, it's funny. I, I wrote my verse at like three, four in the morning. My ass was in there delusional. I'm in that bit tired as hell. I'm spazzing. But uh, yeah, shout out to her, bro. I just once again, I keep saying, I keep reiterating it, bro. I'm just in that era of just being grateful for everything. You know what I'm saying? Being appreciative, bro. And I'm just excited to to work on shit again, bro. Because it was such a you feel me? A period of time when niggas wasn't on that. You know what I'm saying? I was fucked up, but niggas in a niggas in a great headspace. You know what I'm saying? And she just me back. Hold on, gang. Y'all can't <laughs> y'all can't see the message from that far out, homie. Hold on, gang. But yeah, bro. Hopefully, I, I think it, I think it. It's 98 percent probably gonna drop before my shit drop. But you feel me? Shout out to her, nigga. Oh God, man. See that red? Oh, wrong way. Hold on, nigga. Y'all see the combo, nigga? Cocoa Puffs with the Cheerios and the uh, and the oat milk, nigga. Trying to put y'all niggas on game. I'm telling you, nigga. I can't cap to you. Niggas was not capping. Uh, they said they go on YouTube for everything, boy. Niggas will forget little shit. I'm like, hold on, niggas is tweaking. Let me. I know it's a random nigga on YouTube that YouTube that an already, You feel me? Woo wop the band. So shout out that nigga, Warrior Sound, nigga. I'm trying to bounce the stems out. I'm up here like, damn, nigga, what's up, nigga? You know what I'm saying? Shout out to them niggas. Yeah, man, niggas just sent that bitch off. You feel me? Once again, shout out to the nigga on YouTube, to you feel me? Woo, wop, bam that motherfucker. But uh, before I actually get the rolling out, my own shit and actually, you know what I'm saying, putting out original shit, I do. I got I got one more, one more freestyle I've been, I've been sitting on. I'm about to record it right now, and I feel like this is going to not set the tone, but it's like, yeah, nigga, like, yeah, this is, I'm putting my whole chest, you feel me? Like, I'm. That motherfucker out there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I can't wait to, I can't wait to put it out, bro. I can't wait to, 
to share it with the with the people. You feel me? Just a, another another piece, another layer of me. You feel me? Well, yeah, nigga. <laughs> Can't wait for y'all to see that shit. That motherfucker is section eight. So when you randomly see a post from me at like 6 30, 7 30, that motherfucker say section eight, just no oh <laughs> Bro done put his whole foot in that motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, boy, y'all niggas stay tuned, ain't bro. All right, bad niggas. Look at the sweat. Look at the sweat appearing. It's a fucking gateway motel. We in this bitch. This bitch built like a can't even care. I was gonna say six by four. This shit bigger than just say, oh, this a motherfucking Indian niggas gonna be mad as hell. Exposing their ass. Give me a free room for a month. I'm gonna pimp a bitch out. 